Hi, I'm Anthony Sweat. I'm a professor in the Department of Church History and Doctrine at BYU, and uh, I'm also a practicing artist. And I'm really excited to be here and talk about some of these beautiful Tissot paintings. I want to talk about two of them with you. Uh, the first one is this one here, which is Abraham's servant, Meeteth Rebecca. Not Meets, but Meeteth. And I really want to spend more of the time talking about this one here, Rebecca Meets Isaac, by the way. The story is coming out of Genesis 24 where Abraham wants to find a wife for his son Isaac. So he's going to send one of his servants laden with goods and jewels and servants and camels all the way from the land of Canaan to Mesopotamia. A journey of hundreds of miles. This would have taken weeks. In the Genesis story, Abraham's servant says, how can I know who God wants Isaac to marry? And so he prays and says, let one of these women who are coming out here, whoever lets down her pitcher to give me to drink, uh, let that be the one whom God has chosen for Isaac. You can see Tiso has lined all these women walking down. And for me, I almost get like wise and foolish parable of the 10 virgins vibes from the New Testament. But you can see this line of women walking and he has their pitchers on their head. Um, and I, what I like about this is they're far off. They're heading almost down this direction. And you have one woman here who is Rebecca, who has obviously broke from the line of women and come over to meet and talk to Abraham's servant here. One of the things I really like about this painting is he still has her at the moment where the picture is on the head, um, which is just an invention. The text doesn't say that. But I like this moment that he's depicting where it's almost like a decision moment where you have this woman who has broken off from her regular task, who sees a man in need, and she's about at that moment to let down the pitcher off of her head to give him to drink, which will be the sign that he has asked God to show who the right woman is. Really, really cool composition. And then connected to the story, uh, let's move over to this uh, amazing piece. Abraham's servant goes back, gives Rebecca and her family all of these uh, bracelets and things that he came with as a dowry to give to the family. They turn to Rebecca and say, what do you want to do? And Rebecca simply says, I will go. And in this painting, Tissot does something amazing. One of the first things that drew me to this image was the color compositions. Tissot is chosen to show the whole caravan of camels. In the text it says that Abraham's servant had 10 camels and servants that were with him. So you're seeing all the caravan, and one thing that he's done is he's in the composition in this valley as they're traveling, you can see the line of camels coming, but he's using this really ornate orientalism. This is not historic to the time, it's anachronistic, but he's trying to show the wealth, the import of this caravan as they're coming on their way uh, into the land of Canaan. Compositionally, it works well because all of this these, these kind of like traveling uh, tents almost, I don't know quite know what they are, um, that, these, that they're traveling with, maybe that they're keeping cover with, that he is um, showing here, gives a great mixed color backdrop to the whites of all of the servants. You see them pop out compositionally. And in the construction of this scene, artistically, uh, you're seeing a really cool vertical line here and then a great triangle going on right here between Rebecca, Abraham's servant. And over here is a man who has seen the camels coming. And this man in the depiction would be Isaac. And in this moment, you have Rebecca asking the servant, who is that guy? Uh, and he will let her know that that is uh, the man that she is about to marry. I just love in the text when Isaac sees and he says, behold, the camels are coming. And I think Tissot has just shown the drama of that moment really well, um, composed in beautiful colors and a beautiful composition where you see the dialogue of this moment that really starts the beginning of what we know as the House of Israel, as this father and mother uh, will end up uh, giving birth to the 12 tribes of Israel uh, for the covenant gospel.